here, we consider the antiderivative of x minus 1 times x minus 2 divided by the square root of x cubed. If we go to our list of antiderivatives, we won't find this function on the list. And just looking at it, it doesn't obviously look like the derivative of any function that we know of. So what we need to do is to manipulate it into a form where we get some functions from our list. So, trying to foreshadow what's going to happen, we want to try to get this thing as a sum of powers, of x to the k, where k is some number. The first thing we note, in the top, we can multiply this out. And then in the bottom, we can get rid of the square root sign. So if I multiply out the top, we get x squared minus 3x plus 2. In the bottom, we have x to the 3 halves. And then we note, we'll be able to divide the bottom into each term into the top, and things will start looking a little bit, a little bit better. So when I do that, let's go through this. So the rule is, if I have something in the bottom, I bring it into the top by putting a minus sign in. And then if I put it up against something else with an exponent, we're going to add the exponents together. So in this case, we're going to have minus 3 halves plus 2 gives me a 1 half. In this case, it's an x to the 1. So that's going to be 1 minus 3 halves gives me a minus a half. And then this is just going to come up as is to give me x to the minus 3 halves. So that agrees with what we put down here. I take my antiderivative. Since we know how to take the antiderivative of powers of x, the rule is add 1 to the exponent, and then flip that number over. So let's see what we get. In the first one, we add 1 to 1 half. It gives me 3 halves. I flip that over to get 2 thirds. For minus a half, I add 1 to that. That gives me 1 half. I flip it over. That gives me 2. And then I take minus 3 halves. I add 1 to that. I get minus a half. Flip that over. That gives me minus 2. Then we add on the constant. So we have our answer, 2 thirds x to the 3 halves minus 6 x to the 1 half minus 4 x minus 1 half plus a constant. We can check this by just taking the derivative. That'll get us to our form up here. It won't get us to our original form that we had to manipulate, but that's fine. We'll just check whatever we can. So we take the derivative of this function. We expect that it will equal this. So let's check. I bring my 3 halves down, subtract 1 from that, gives me x to the 1 half. I bring the 1 half down, gives me minus 3. Subtract 1 off of that, gives me minus a half. And then I bring that 1 half down times minus 4, gives me a plus 2. Subtract 1 off of that, gives me minus 3 halves. And then the derivative of the constant goes to 0. So we notice we get this, which agrees with our integrand.